change our lives and improve our well-being. They dedicate their endless determination and talents. Together with the Hebrew University's top scientists, they have achieved amazing breakthroughs for 50 years. Yisum and the Hebrew University, celebrating 50 years of commercializing innovations. Congratulations, Yisum on reaching 50 years. I am very happy to work with Yisum, the best technology transfer company in Israel, and I hope we will have many more successful years of working together. We all know that the road to commercialization is a difficult one, and Rivastimin was no exception to that rule. But with the strong support of the scientists of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, Marta Weinstock, we overcame these early challenges. And today, Exelon is available in more than 90 countries across the world. I think we can proudly say that together, we are making a difference in the lives of over 1 million Alzheimer patients every year who are being treated with the drug. During the next 20 years, we learned a lot more about Alzheimer's disease. And therefore, I made a new drug, Ladostigil, and now, at Yisum, together with Avraham Pharma, is testing this drug in 13 different centers in Israel and Europe in patients with mild cognitive impairment, and we hope that it will indeed prevent the development of Alzheimer's disease. Yisum, 8,500 patents filed. Our most important product is the first FDA-approved nanodrug called Doxil. Here are two vials of Doxil. You can see the beautiful red color of the drug. Almost a half million patients around the world have received the drug since it was introduced in 1995. In 2014, Doxil remains the backbone of treatment for women with relapsed ovarian cancer. I started my interaction with the Zoom at the end of my PhD thesis. Uh, I remember that I was very happy because I got uh, every year, for a few years, 600 Israeli pounds. A few years ago, Joni and I spent the afternoon at Yasum. Over the years, I had worked with Alberta Gabazan, but had not met Chesi Berenholtz. I departed Israel on an overnight flight to Beijing. After a long nap, I began to chat with the passenger next to me. When we got around to talking about each other's work, I realized that I was talking to Chezi. It was a wonderful coincidence that allowed me to thank him for his valuable work. And tonight, I thank Yasum for its role in making the best thinking at Hebrew University available to the rest of the world. Yasum, 2,450 innovations. It all has been started with a mutation that inhibits the shelf life of tomatoes that was discovered in Canada. Professor Nahum Kedai and myself were the first one in the world to exploit this trait and extend the shelf life of tomatoes from a few days to a couple of weeks. This enabled us also to develop cherry tomatoes, trust tomatoes, 
and many other crops that are now being grown worldwide. I'd like to wish you soon all happiness in its 50th anniversary and hope to celebrate with you the hundreds. Yisum, 750 licensed technologies. Our laboratory is focusing on nanotechnology with an attempt to improve the performance of drugs. Today, with our new technologies, we are able to bypass the liver and go directly to the bloodstream without degradating the drugs. Thanks to this technology, it is possible, probably within two to three years, that these drugs can be safely administered orally. Thanks to Yesum, today we are reaching new heights and new expansions. Yesum, 300 new job opportunities created annually. My applied research is breeding of a blocky type pepper suitable for growing under passive greenhouse conditions with high economical value for the farmers. Our project has been carried out for the last 20 years and we are the market leaders in the major markets like southern Spain, Israel, the Arava Valley and Mexico. I want to congratulate Yisum for its 50th anniversary. I wish they'll have lots of work in the future from researchers at the university and continue to give us good service like they do today. Yisum, 350 active research projects. We at the Hebrew University, the Faculty of Agriculture, focus on the nanobiomaterials. Coal plant is a public traded company today uh, that makes human recombinant collagen in plants. We, for the first time at the Hebrew University, were able uh, to uh, introduce all the five human genes uh, that are responsible for making collagen into tobacco plants by genetic engineering. And today, uh, the company has 20,000 square meters of greenhouses all over Israel. The plants make the collagen, the collagen is extracted, and from which uh, the company is uh, making uh, medical devices, implants that are used all over the world. I believe that uh, the role of Isum is maintaining the legitimacy of uh, the Israeli Academy at the Hebrew University by allowing uh, the good science and the technologies to be transferred to the society that actually support the Israeli Academy. So congratulations. Yisum, 90 startup companies. Mobilizing the business of uh, preventing uh, collisions. We uh, developed and manufacture a microprocessing chip, a system on chip, this small thing here, that processes visual information coming from a car and estimates whether the driver is about to enter into a collision situation and prevents the accident by active uh, braking. These kinds of systems reduce the chance of accident by more than 50%. But this is really a life-saving uh, technology. And uh, Mobileye is the leading supplier of these systems. We have more than 80% uh, market share. The future is even more exciting. There are going to be revolutionary changes in the way we drive. We are launching autonomous driving capabilities. You can drive on a highway up to 140 kilometers per hour. You can let go of the steering wheel, let go of the brakes, let go of the throttle, and let the car drive on its own uh, safely. Yisum, $2 billion of annual product sales. These are only a few of our exciting inventions that we have commercialized over the past 50 years, and there are many more. Together with the world's leading researchers here at the Hebrew University, we will develop more products and create more startups in the next 50 years.
Yi Soon, where science means business. Hello! Good evening, everyone. Good evening. I need some house lights. I need to see the fixed uh, volunteers. At my... <laughs> before I start, why does everybody look so scared after this? In this room? So before, before I introduce myself, I'm just going to ask a very simple question. I have this very special scroll which I'm going to throw, and the first gentleman who catch it, I want to to say hi to me. So I don't know who it goes to, just someone catch it. Sorry about that. Just catch it. So yeah, you, you stand up. I, I need some house lights. Oh, Baulam, please. Uh, okay, stand up and say out loud your first name. Shlomo. Shlomo, you are correct. <laughs> oh, keep standing up, Shlomo. I'm going to ask you a very simple question. This is just a warm up. Just a warm up. One second, let me look at you. Shlomo. I don't know if you can see this, but trust me, I wrote Shlomo. A very simple question, I will try to influence you, don't let me influence you. Shlomo, if I would ask you right now, it's a, it's a warm-up before the show starts, uh, can you please tell us, out loud, so everybody can hear, can you tell us a two-digit number, please, whatever you want? 22, it's a good number, I wrote Shlomo will say 22, can you see this? Shlomo will say 22. Shlomo, why did you say 22? I told you. Ah, oh, you like that, but you caught it. I didn't know you were there. I didn't know you were there. You can sit down. Don't forget to get the check after the show. And, <laughs> and keep this. It's very important, Shlomo. Don't go to the bathroom. It's very important. So, uh, good evening, everyone. Before we start the, the official, uh, official thing over here, my name is Leon Sushar. I am a mentalist. A mentalist is someone who knows how to work with people's minds, daily thoughts. Basically, three special techniques. Mind reading, mind influencing, and bullshit. That's what I use. <laughs> And we're having a lot of fun tonight. Uh, I know what you think. It's possible to read people's minds. People are very skeptics. I'm just, you know, going to start looking at you. Every time I go to the audience, everybody goes like this. <laughs> they go like, please don't choose me. So I'm just going to go. And uh, I'll show you what is basically mind reading. You know, start pointing at each other. And uh, let's see. What is your name? Ofra? No, I don't, I don't want to talk from Israel. What is your name? Judith. And you're perfect for me. Come over here, Judith, come over here. Please give Judith a big one of us. It's okay, come on. Come on, it's okay. It's going to be fun, I promise you. I promise you, it's going to be fun. So we're just going to start the first experiment, and I need your help in this experiment. Judith, how are you? Good, how are you? Listen, this is an interesting, it's like a television interview. Uh, before we do this test, it's just a test. Do we know each other personally? No. You seem to be very happy about it, by the way. Are you afraid of me, Judith? A little. <laughs> Here's the test. In a few seconds, I'm going to ask you to go to the door. You're going to go all the way to the door and don't come back. Okay, I'm just kidding. This is the first test. The test is about the imagination. I'm going to show you a new technology from Isum. Yes. It's mind reading. It's reading. I want you to use your imagination for this. If you don't have good imagination, just imagine that you have one. That's it. So I want you to imagine a television screen, and I want you to think of someone that you know, a person that you know, who is not here right now. That's easy, okay? Where are you from? Sorry? No, I heard you, I'm just sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm just joking with you. It can be someone from Chicago, it can be someone from, it can be someone from the past, you know? Okay, just, you're going to print the name here, just the first name, you're going to close this, Take one of the bed, you close it like this, the other one of the bed, you close it like this, and you come back. The most important thing is you do it over there, Judith, so nobody will see what you're writing. Don't let anyone follow you, make sure this is fair. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. <laughs> now, do it on the, yeah, on the right side, underneath the special camera. So, there's no special camera. So, again, mentalist is someone who works with people's minds. In a few seconds, Judith, uh, with Judith, I'm sorry about my bad English, but my accent is wonderful, so. She will come back over here and I will introduce her. I'd like everybody to start applauding as hard as you can. It's very important for the energy. All the men, you know, shout. All the ladies, bras in the air. Make a lot of noise. You don't have to. Give her a big round of applause. Did you write it? Yes? Nobody saw it over there? Put it behind your back. Behind your back. Enough, not too much. We're going to do it quickly. Don't give me any hints. Don't say the name. You can say the name. Don't say anything. See, I'm trying to trick your mind. The first thing about body language, I'm looking at your body language reading, and I can sense that it's a man or a woman, correct? <laughs> yes. Can you please say out loud the word men? Man. Now say woman. Woman. 
woman. See, by the intonation of the voice, I can sense that it's a man, correct? Yes. Yeah. Let's not break the 50-50 part, you know? <laughs> People are not there. Think about the number of letters in the name. Tell me if you got it. Don't say, just think about it. You got it? Mm -hmm. I got four. How many you? Four. This is where the Italian audience goes, Ooh. <laughs> It's amazing, but let me go again. It's not impressive. You, I know you're very skeptical. You, you tell yourself, lots of people have four letters in the name. Okay, what is your name? Asher. Four letters. <laughs> How many? Five. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. No, but you, you want me to try to succeed. Do I know this person? Judith. No, right? Can you please say there's no way you know this person? There's no way you know this. So there's no way I know him? No. There's no way? I don't think there's so. No way? <laughs> Maybe. No, I don't. Are you thinking there's a way that I know Alex? <laughs> Is that Alex? Yes? Yes! Please give everyone a applause for me, Dad! Thank you so much. Go back to your seat over there. Who is there? Uh, Judith! Am I right by saying you thought of someone and you changed your mind? You had like a mix over there, you know? I don't know. You know people, people start to ask me this question, how did I start with those abilities? I started when I was six years old, with a very sensitive intuition, even before age six, I was born very, very young. <laughs> Late cameras come in, you didn't miss anything, it's a video, Jerry Leno five times, Barbara Walters, Larry King saying it's amazing, and I number 22, and that's it. <laughs> and now, and I guess now it's. So, and, and, and I, and I grew up, my mother, she taught me to be a gentleman. She always did work. She always told me, Lior, my name is Lior, don't you ever dare to ask a lady for her, what? Hey, I will not ask you for your age, I will ask you something completely different. How much do you weigh, please? <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to, to answer this question. Let's do this. I want everybody here to try to think of something that is impossible. Judith, who is Alex, by the way? Your what? And you have more, you have another one, right? So that's why I told you you were confusing, you see? So maybe someone will think that I cheated, that I did a research or something like that. So I want you to think of something that's impossible to find out. Think about, go back in time, think about your first boyfriend, first girlfriend. You have like 100 names, you're not sure. No, I don't <laughs> Think about, think about, wait, think about some, first love, first crush. Do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? Don't say anything. Do you remember? Uh, I need, do you remember? But don't say. Can you do like this for a second for me? Up, 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 okay? I need a volunteer who remembers. You raise your hand. Oh, come over here. Come over here, please. Everybody, give her a big round of applause. You can put the bag over here. Come with me. Let's do something very special. Now, this is, is this going to work? If this will work, this will be unbelievable. What is your name? Marcy! How are you, Marcy? First love? First crush. First crush. Okay, I have to be honest with you. Oh, you just came? Let me put you up there. Say, I know that never mind. Every time I do this experiment about trying to find someone's first love, first crush, I get emotional. Because, you know, it reminds me of my first love. Did I pay you lots of money to say no all the time? No, I wish you did. But I did. <laughs> Take this. 
Don't say a word. The only thing you can tell me, Marcy, is what was your age back then? What was your age? First crush. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then are you listening? <laughs> this means I have to go back in time approximately 27 years. Exactly. 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 Exactly.
So it's time for the official part. Welcome, distinguished guests, Hebrew University Board of Governors, University President and Management, researchers, Isum business partners, and last but not least, Isum members. This is the time for applause. Yes. This evening is a celebration of the world-leading academic research that had the privilege of being translated into tangible products. Exactly 50 years ago, it was not connected to uh, those boyfriends. Exactly 50 years ago, the university management became world pioneer in forming, is forming ISUM, a company that received the mandate to commercialize the university's applicable research. They had a vision in mind. They wanted to bring the fruits of this excellent research to the benefits of the public. Today, 50 years later, ISUM is a role model and leader in the evolving and fast-growing field called technology transfer, which is exactly what I do. I told you this is a... <laughs> this evening is going to be amazing for you. It, I know it's indeed in the evening of amazing wonders that you will see and feel, but it's not secret that the magnificent success is a result of years of hard work and efforts, years of research, and years of business and commercial work. During the next hour, we'll invite you to go back to the beginning. You have, you have just heard of seeing the researchers tell us how they started their long scientific journey and how together with Zoom, their scientific achievements were turned into products. We will also share the professional thoughts and experience of global companies in partnering with Isum and bringing the markets great inventions. Finally, the best part, my specialty, we'll show you a glimpse of the future. Wait till the next act. Some of the most amazing technologies being developed right now as the next generation of products and successes. So by now, I want to welcome to the stage Professor Menachem Ben Sasson, president of the, president of the Hebrew University. Please give him a big round of applause. Unexpected, fascinating, daring. That's what you do in Isum, a combination of scholars, businessmen, women, look into the nature, maintain dialogue with it in order to decipher the beginning, the basic science. But soon after, this dialogue creates a product or an idea, a patent. Then to nurture, to add something, to water, to cultivate, and to harvest. This is the combination of Yisum. You ask ourselves, my colleagues, professors at university, when you started, you want to solve basic problems. You know that the answer to these basic problems comes from nature, from the reality. Even in the humanities, social sciences, you have to look around to understand and you come with the idea. You need somebody to talk about it. You want to share with the doubt, to be safe enough in order to know that, like Leo, you have it in a good hand, and a safer hand. And later on, you want it to be, to be developed because you are daring now not only to do the work that your teacher did, but also to go ahead for the future. And that's the secret of everybody who sits in this hall today. It's an evening that wants to celebrate the combination of the daring in the academic world, at the other side, those who dare in the business and other parts of society. No, in no way it's an ivory tower. It's not an ivory tower from the beginning. Scholars are humble, so scholars are candid, and they are daring in asking the questions. So oh, this is the gist of this evening. That's the heart of the work that you have been doing for 50 years and you'll do, you'll do it for many more years. It's a patent. You cannot sell it, any, sell, sell, it, sell it anymore. It's expired already. But the future is with us. To tell you, Yisum and the, professor, the professors who are in the leading academic committees of the university did another breakthrough. They now count and they know how to measure patents in order to promote professors. Who would dream, who would dream of it 
in the past. Nowadays, it becomes a habit at the Hebrew University. Few years, many other universities to follow. Yes, we are daring after your results, after the quality of research that you have been doing. And each and every name that you see tonight, and those of us professors who sit here, except for the, for the president, are those who made it and will go ahead with many more patents and basic answers to nature to drop, to extend, to deepen the horizon from one side and the depth of what we have been doing for many years. Thank you very much, Isu. We are dependent on you for many, many more results that you, you have been pushing to. Good evening. Thank you, Professor. I would like to invite to the stage Dr. Aaron Schwartz, Chairman of the Board of ISU. famous American actor whose name I forgot says that you should never appear in a film with children and dogs. They will always take away the glory from you. So appearing after Lior and after Menachem, <laughs> very bad choice, sorry. But nevertheless, uh, Professor Ben Menachem, uh, the president of the Hebrew University, uh, Jakob Michlin, the CEO of Yisum, and all the other honorable guests. We are celebrating today uh, the 50th university, uh, anniversary of uh, Yisum, and every anniversary calls for reflection on the past and some thinking about the future ahead of us. And I would like to spend a couple of minutes on both issues. Uh, first, from a personal uh, point, and then in a more general way. Personally, about a couple of years before Yisum has been established, I joined the Hebrew University as a young student. And uh, 50 years later, actually a couple of days ago, I completed my studies again. During these 50 years, actually Yisum has accomplished something that was difficult to imagine at that time, creating a global leading role in the technology transfer area. This was some amazing achievement. At the same time, I've dedicated my personal career into support and commercialization of technologies in the industry. And when Menachem offered me to join the board of YESU, this was actually, for me, was a very significant moment in, in which these two parallel, seemingly different paths actually converged. And that's why I'm so excited of being here and welcoming you to the anniversary celebration. From a more general uh, point of view, I would like uh, to say the following. Our young and energetic CEO of Yisum, Yaakov, will uh, give you some details of the past, because he's young, so he can talk about the past. I am much older, and because of that, only naturally, I will speak about the future. Many of you know, and Menachem uh, said a few words about that, that half a century ago, when all of that has started, there was a very obvious and strong division between basic research and applied research. This is not relevant anymore. The borders between basic and applied research are falling and completely, almost completely disappearing. In Yisum today, we see actual examples to that. Some of them you have seen in the film, and some of them you will see in the future. And if this is correct, there is no question in my mind that technological innovation should be brought to the front together with basic, basic science innovation in order to be part and parcel of the DNA of the Hebrew University. We in Yisum, are getting more and more expertise in genetic engineering. And what we would like to do is really to uh, create a level of gene therapy and actually insert technological innovation genes into the DNA of the Hebrew University. Any doctor will tell you that gene therapy is a very dangerous 
activity. You may have casual this. And this is especially true for older people and old, well-established institutions, such as the Hebrew University. But without that, I can assure you that the university will not be able to look at the future, to look at the future in the same way and with the, and with the same success as was the past. And because of that, we in ISU are actually committed to make this happen to the benefit of the university, faculty, workers, and mankind. Thank you very much. And now I would like to invite to the stage Mr. Yaakov Michlin, CEO of ISU. Relating to Aaron's notes, so I, I think I'm not the youngest on the stage. I think Lior is a little bit younger than me, and he just uh, had a new baby, so Mazal Tov Lior. Uh, President of the University, Aaron, uh, dear governors, distinguished guests, uh, when we first decided that uh, Lior will be the infotainer of tonight, the, the graphic uh, artists of the evening wanted to make a logo of 50 years of magic, and I was deeply concerned that uh, in the university people will not like it because science is not only magic, it's a lot of hard work, so we changed the logo as you see. And uh, being, being here in the Hebrew University and uh, in the, this nice uh, hall, I must uh, give a reference to the original. I, don't, I, I will not use the, the techniques of Lior of addressing the crowd, but actually the Jubilee ceremony appears already in the Bible as part of the commandment called the Mitzvah HaYovel in uh, the, the book of Vaikra. And if you look at the concept of the, this uh, commandment, there are ma mainly two uh, ideas behind it. First of all, that after 50 years, you have to celebrate what you achieved and to thank the people that brought you that far. And the second thing is to, to take a year off and to plan for the future. So I will address the past. I, I will also speak a little bit about uh, the future. So first of all, we have a lot to celebrate. And actually, the first movie was just a brief example of the success stories that we already have. And because of time limitations, we could use only a few of our technologies. But as you saw in the, at the end of it, the dozens of logos running at the end actually represent tens of startups that already now are worth hundreds of uh, millions of shekel. So Menachem, you can expect for good things from Isum, for, from Isum in the future. Um, it's also time to, for us to thank many people that brought us so far. And uh, 50 years, it's a uh, longer than uh, I was born after all. So uh, we, we have a lot of people to thank. And as you can see here in the only one slide, we decided no PowerPoint, no slide, don't worry. This is the only slide you will see tonight. There are many stakeholders that we have to thank for having all the achievements that we got so far. And I will start uh, first with our uh, wonderful and dedicated team in ISU. We have only 25 employees and they are helping us to create all what is created. So we, I would like to thank our excellent employees. <laughs> and also our consultants working with us for many years. And thank you for them as well. Some of them are also sponsoring our exhibition outside. I would like to thank our uh, board of directors and the chairman of ISU. I know that it sounds uh, like uh, appraising your own uh, friends, but it's not obvious to have a board so knowledgeable in many areas and so supportive. So they are certainly a great part of success. And I'm uh, referring to the current uh, directors, but people in the crowd here and the, the former chairman and other directors. So we have to, to thank all of them. Our prominent first year partners, you will see a glimpse of them in the next movie. And I will not tell you more because otherwise I will uh, ruin the expectation. The investors that help us to bring the innovation from the bench to the market. The university organs, we work very closely with the management, with the authority of the research and development, with the finance, the foreign affairs, and many more. The government authorities, and mainly the Minister of Economy, unfortunately they have a competing event of the incubator celebration, so they couldn't, uh, the minister could not be here and the chief scientist. 
Uh, so we have to thank all of this. And last and most important, our great researchers. And I want to share with you a short, uh, very short story. When I, relatively in, the, in my first days in Isum, one of the researchers stepped in the, in, into my office. And I was a young uh, person in the job, I think two months. And I asked him, what is more important for you, to sell a product for hundreds of millions or to get a Nobel Prize? And he told me to get the Nobel Prize. So I was very happy because only good and excellent science like we have in our university will bring us the hundreds of millions at the end. And you saw some of these successes uh, in the, the first uh, movie. Unlike the biblical uh, commandment, we are not going to take a year off. On the contrary, we are working harder and harder. And as you could see in the movie, even our most uh, successful researchers, although some of them already retired officially, they are just continuing to create the next startups and the next innovation. And this is, I think, uh, now when you mentioned, this is the DNA of the university that our researchers are going forward and, and from one challenge to another. And I think that this is what keeps Isum alive and leading. And a little bit of, uh, without slide, but I must share with you what actually we do in Isum, and uh, the, part of, the other part of the evening will be the entertainment of Leo and nice movies. But just to give you a sense of what we are doing, so today we handle about 180 new inventions coming from the university every year. We file about 120 new patent applications. We grant licenses for about 60 technologies. We create about 10 startups, and we sign hundreds of agreements with the industry. All of this, provide about 300 new job opportunities every year. We also established a mini VC in biotech in our uh, uh, under Isum called Integra, and we are now establishing a new VC in agriculture called Agri-Innovation. And in addition, we have the largest portfolio in Israel of over 300 projects available for license, and we have 15 drug candidates in human clinical stages. And all of this certainly make us the number one, the leading, tech transfer and the most active tech transfer company in Israel and one of the leading in the world. So the take home message, and by this I will finish, we have a great track record of uh, successes and we have an exciting and very promising future. Some of it you will see later on. Together with you, we will make it happen and bring more products to the market. Thank you. Thank you, Jacob. So you said you changed the logo because of me? No. No, I told you in the beginning, I, by the way, I'm not a magician. I don't do tricks. I, you could call it tricks of the mind, or as I told you at the beginning, this is a real Yisung new technology. Uh, and to prove it to you, in every show, I'm looking for a gentleman, one gentleman who is very skeptic, who keeps telling his you know, wife, he goes like, nah, I don't believe it, bullshit, eh, all tricks. So, so is there any... Skeptics in the audience. Don't worry, I won't harm you. This guy? What is your name? Nigel. Nigel? Oh, you have a skeptic name. Come over here for a second. <laughs> Nigel, come as fast as you can. Okay? Four letters. <laughs> Nigel, come quickly. Nigel, I have to tell you something. Come. Nigel, every time I do these shows, people always ask me, How are you, first of all? People always ask me, Lior, how? how do you do it? So please, I will say, Lior, you answer back, how do you do it? Lior, I'm glad you asked. I always tell them, if I tell you, I will have to kill you. That's why I say, no, don't laugh. There was, no, no, I, did, I do lots of corporate events. I had, I had a show for 2,000 people, and the guy in the middle of the show, he raised his hand. He started to scream. He says, Lior, you do so many things. How do you do it? How do you do it? So I told him the same thing. If I tell you, I will have to kill you. He then stood up and told me, can you please tell my wife? <laughs> it's a true story. Nigel, listen, uh, people, have you ever been in a casino? Sure. Sure. Uh, where are you from, Nigel? London. London, I love London. Uh, people ask me, Lior, if you have those special abilities, why don't you go to the casino and you win lots of money? The answer is, I go. <laughs> sometimes I win, Nigel, sometimes the casino loses. Uh, this is a... Um, <laughs> This is a dice in the casino. You cannot see it. That's why I have Nigel here to prove to you that everything is fair. Hold the dice. Hold it close, close like this. And hold it close to your chest like this. Now, when you look down, uh, you still have the microphone over there? Can you just pass it, bro? I know it's comfy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're still shocked because of that, huh? The, the Marcus. Monica. Monica and Marcus. It's kind of nice. Yeah, okay. 
Nigel, uh, tell everybody which number is that. Five. Change the number to something else. Change the dice. So you can roll the dice in your mind. Yeah, what is now? Four. Oh, one more time, Nigel. It's your choice. But you can repeat numbers, by the way. What now? Two. One more time, one more time. Six. So, you know, the mind works like a chess game. If you can figure, unlock the hidden thing in your mind, you can go, you can see what you, what the other player is going to do. So I think, one more time, change it. I think by your actions, I know, yeah, what's now, what's now? One. One, but you wanted to change it something else. I think I, I think I know what's going to be your next move, and your next, next move, and your next, next, next move. To prove to you, you will hold this so we can talk. You will stand right here so I cannot see you, and you will choose any number you want, don't let me influence you. Just kidding, just any number you want. Nigel, tell me when you have a number, you, you see me. Okay, you have a number, Nigel? I do. Okay, when we do this test, usually, are you sure you have a number? Do you know, you know the number? I do. By the way, don't choose the same number as you chose before, it's too easy. <laughs> They're always two. <laughs> Nigel, you have a number? You can, you can change it, change it a little bit. Okay. Did you change it? I did. All right. Nigel, Nigel will be probably starting with, I think he will start with number three. Did you start with three? Nahon, correct. Nahon means yes, yes. Uh, everybody does three. Uh, change it to something else. I will sit over here, very comfortable. Do you have a number, Nigel? I do. Okay, after three, you'll probably want to go to a high number, like six. Very good. Yes. Uh, one more time. Can I do, let's do this. Can you please cover my eyes? Just cover, this is nothing to do with the trick. I just like this part. Nigel, you have a number? Uh, no, but I will. Take your time, I get paid okay, by the hour. Okay, I have a yeah? number. You have a number over there? I do. Okay. So, you wanted to trick me a few times. You wanted to go for different numbers. You wanted to go for lower numbers, uh, high numbers. But then you decided to stay at the same number, correct? Nope. Okay, so you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, tell me what is the number, Nigel, tell me. Four. Four. Hmm. One second. Do one more time. I have to calculate it. Four. It change your mind to something else. Something else. Another number. Or the same number. Whatever you want. Tell me if you got it. You want me to change the number? Or not. <laughs> Don't tell me. Okay. Hold on. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Uh -huh. He did change. You, you probably changed. I tried to influence to change to, to one. Did I succeed? Correct. Correct. One last time to prove to you that it's real. Change it again or not. Okay. Did you change or I not? Have. He will probably change again because he wasn't number three, so we'll go with three. That's not the first number. Yes? Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now, Nigel, that's a warm up. That's a warm up. That's impressive, you have to admit. Very impressive. Very. But this is just a warm up. I want, I, want to show, I want to show you how this method works, how the algorithm of the mind works. Tell me your age very quietly. I promise I will not say it. 58. Okay. You, don't, you, don't look, you don't look 58. This is what we're going to do. I want you to think of a number between 58 and 100. 58 and 100. 58 and 100. Don't say it. Just go over there and write a number here. I have interruptions here. One second. Can you stop for a second? Can you stand up for a second? You, yeah, orange. Just one second. What is your name? Georgia. Georgia. Like the song. Georgette. Not like the song. Your first love name was Steve. You can see that. <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I have those. Uh, so 50 to 100. And you did not tell me the name, just tell them. That. Yes, it's fair. Uh, write a number here and close it. Between 58 to 100, do it over there. While you're doing this, I'm going to write a sketch, sketch of your brain. Right here, it looks something like this. That's what goes on inside his brain. Nigel, you have a number? Did you close it? Close it more, yeah, like this, yeah. Now, the game is very simple. No matter what happens, you don't tell me your number, all right? Take this, come over here to the microphone and tell me your number. Don't say your number. Did you just come over there? Okay, so it was a cool movie. <laughs> and then I guessed number 22. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> don't tell me your number, okay? The only thing I wanna ask you, is, does the number mean anything to you, or is it random? Random. Random. I will have two possibilities to try to find your number, okay? Okay. Maybe four, because you're skeptic. Okay, eight. Just in case. <laughs> Let's just do it symmetrical. Are you ready? Look at me, look at me, look at me, and I'm gonna write a number here. 49. Nope. This is not 49? 
<laughs> that is forty nine. That's what I said, <laughs> Nigel. <laughs> I didn't say it's your number, Nigel. Correct. What I'm going to do, I'm going to ask you to count from ten to zero, very dramatically. Try to be as dramatic as possible. I'm going to write a bunch of numbers very, very fast, as quickly as possible. I don't know what I'm going to write, but I'm going to write numbers. One of them will be yours for sure. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to start. Remember, ten seconds. Count down. You ready? Start now. Ten, nine, eight. Not so fast, seven, Nigel. Six, oh my God, five, it's too fast for four, me. Okay. Three. Yes, too slow. Two, wait, wait. One, zero. Nigel, come on. Okay, stop, 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 stop. It's too fast. <laughs> You're good. No, I wrote it so fast. <laughs> I think I messed up. Oh sh. Um. Okay, take the microphone. Come with me for a second. I, I'm pretty sure your number is there. Did you, did you see it in one of the squares? Should be. It's a five. It's a nine. <laughs> Do you see it over there? Yeah. Uh, not in one square. Oh my god. Uh, no, no, a combination, of co but do you don't see it in one specific square? You swear? Okay, damn it. Uh, I messed up, I messed up. It happens, it happens. What was your number, Nigel? You, you want to know the number? Yeah, you can say it. 69. I told you never to tell me your number. <laughs> no, no, no. Come over here, Nigel. So, will it impress you to show to, that I, come over here. Did I, I see it six and nine, it's impressive. Very six impressive. And nine, no? No, no, here's what I did. Stand over here so they can see, watch this. I hope this will impress you. I did it in nine seconds, 10 seconds, fast seconds. Seven and 12, Nigel, is 19. Plus one is 20. Plus 49 is your number, 69, see? Two plus 48 is 50. 50. 58, 69. 11, 69, yeah. Five and 10, 15 and three, 18, and 61 is? 69, yeah. Five, uh, sorry, four and six is 10, and nine, 19, and 50 is? 69. Now, let's check. Very impressive. The verticals. <laughs> Nigel, 7 and 2 is 9, and 9, 18, and 51 is? 69. Perfect. 6 and 3 is 9, and 12, 21, and 48 is? 69. 50, 68, 69, 9, and 11, 20, and 49. This is also 69. Very good. This Very is pretty amazing. Nigel, I have to tell you something. You know, there's a gentleman on the back over there who's not clapping his hands. Do you know why? No idea. He's trying to calculate the diagonals. <laughs> <laughs> 4 and 10, 14, 14. And 7, 21 and 48 is? 69. Uh, 9 and 3, 12, 12 and 8, uh, 20, 20 and 49 is also this, which I love to call Isum gives you an end to end solutions. <laughs> this is really amazing. Uh, by the way, if you look at the four corners, 7 and 9 is 16, 16 and 4 20. and 49. Very Perfect. Good. Let's take this one just, in case, just for fun. 12 and 7 is? 19. And 2? 21. And 69. 48? Like 3 and 51 and 9 and 6 is 69. 5 and 10 and 15 and 4 is 69. This Very is fun. By the way, Nigel, this one is 69 also. And now we give you a big one of all. Thank you. Go back to your seats. Nigel. And you, <laughs> and you said your number is not there, Nigel. Any. Symmetrical combination will give you 69. There's actually 69 combination to get 69. Skeptic, Nigel. The past skeptic, Nigel. You are skeptic, you were, who was it? <laughs> By the way, these are next week lottery numbers. <laughs> I just don't know in which country. You're just, uh, you know. <laughs> By the way, did anybody here felt a little bit hypnotized from the opening video? No? I'll, I'll show you. You didn't feel any like weird uh, influence or something? I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Yisum contributions to the Israel economy and to the city of Jerusalem is well known. It is also impressive to know how global business partners value the long-term partnership with Yisum. Check the video. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good evening. I regret I was unable to join you in person, but very pleased now to be able to contribute a few words in recognition of your Jubilee celebration. Indeed, there's much to celebrate. Working together over these past three decades, Yisum and Zraim have led the way in breeding new varieties for tomatoes and peppers, two of the world's most important crops. Through hybrid seed breeding technology, this collaboration is helping to revolutionize the fresh produce industry by improving both the yield and quality of tomatoes and peppers, especially when grown in challenging climatic conditions. The work which the university, Yisum and Zraim, have undertaken in this respect has made an enormous contribution to both growers and consumers around the world. 
Syngenta shares this vision to make crops more productive and sustainable. We know very well that we cannot succeed alone, and that is why the historic partnership we've enjoyed with Yisum will be important not only to Syngenta, but to that of growers and consumers everywhere. And for this, on behalf of the 30,000 employees of our company and the tens of millions of growers we touch, either directly or indirectly every day, thank you. Congratulations on your jubilee. We wish you continued success through your vision, intensity, and focus over these next 50 years, and look forward to working with you. Have a great celebration. I would like to congratulate Isum on its 50th anniversary. Within the Office of the Chief Scientist, we believe that industry and academia are part of the same ecosystem of innovation, science, and technology. The work of Isum over the year yielded many success stories that took the fruits of basic research and basic science into the hands of entrepreneurs, created new companies, helped existing companies make better products and more advanced technology, created jobs, helped generate growth, increased the export of our nation, and increased the wealth and prosperity of economy and society. Our collaboration between the Office of the Chief Scientist and ISUM has been very successful over the years. We jointly help transform basic science into products in the hands of customers. I strongly believe that many of tomorrow's industry will be research intensive and science based. If indeed so, we need to create an efficient pipeline between the university labs and the hands of entrepreneurs and the work of ISUM is very much important in that pipeline. Roche has successfully collaborated with ISUM and Hebrew University for many years and we have uh, funded over 12 projects over the past few years since 2010. We all at Roche believe that this is a very successful collaboration. We have today a number of projects that are being internalized. One of them in discussion today is, a, is an ophthalmology product. Another one is an oncology uh, technology based on stem cell. And we also have some exciting uh, areas in uh, the field of nano-encapsulation. The scientists at ISUM and Hebrew University are one of the best among the world. And the collaboration between the Roche scientists and the ISUM and Hebrew University scientists has been really top class. So we wish everyone at ISUM and Hebrew University a great success going forward, and we look forward to continuing to work with you for many years to come. Thank you. Congratulations to ISUM on the occasion of your Jubilee celebrations. As Mayor of Jerusalem, one of my goals is to position Jerusalem as a global leader in the health, life sciences, and high-tech industries. ISUM, the commercial arm of the Hebrew University of Jerusalem, is an important player in the efforts to globally showcase the innovation and technology being produced in Jerusalem. Isum's successes in commercializing the inventions being created in Jerusalem are stimulating Jerusalem's economy and generating hundreds of jobs in Jerusalem's university campuses and high-tech parks. Isum plays an important role in strengthening Jerusalem as a leader in the biotech and high-tech industries in Israel and around the globe. Based on your track record of successes, I am confident that Yisum will continue to help transform Jerusalem into a global high-tech and biotech center of excellence. Mazal tov to Yisum, Mazal tov to the Hebrew University, and Mazal tov to Jerusalem. First of all, congratulations. Congratulations to the 50th birthday of Yisum. And congratulations to the Hebrew University to have started the successful child 50 years ago. For us at Merck, innovation plays a decisive role in building the future of our company. And in this context, Israel is of special importance. Together with Professor Uri Banin, we began exploring rod-shaped quantum worlds. To push the concept further, Yesum created the company Coolite Nanotech. We together Yesum and Merck have helped to grow what started as an idea into a truly innovative startup company with great potential for the future. This is the kind of innovation which makes Yesum and the Hebrew University so special. Great ideas combined with speed, entrepreneurship and the will to succeed. We are very happy with our partnership and we look forward to much more. And therefore, again, 
Congratulations to the past. Your celebration today is well earned. Best wishes for the future, together as in the past. I am looking forward to the continuation of our friendship and collaboration. Hi, I'm delighted to have this opportunity to congratulate Yisum for its 50th anniversary. I see no need to expand on the huge contribution of the Hebrew University in general and Yisum in particular to the academic research in Israel. And I don't have enough time or space to cover all those applications in the industry. I do want to tell you about the cooperation, the great cooperation between Intel and the Hebrew University, a cooperation that Yisum is a major part of it. Over two years ago, Intel has established together with several academic institutes in Israel a joint computational intelligence initiative. Over a dozen of well-known professors alongside excellent students are taking part in the various researches done under the umbrella of this project. Researchers are exploring the fascinating new areas of learning system, imaging, cognitive computer, computer vision, and many more areas. Cutting-edge technologies, or as we say it in Hebrew, a spitz shela technologia. These researches will surely change the landscape of the future computing la landscape. I am confident that we can expect to see this exciting technology emerging in the coming years. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be amazing. Happy 50th anniversary, and may there be many more. Thank you. Cut. Yisum and the Hebrew University, celebrating 50 years of commercializing innovations. That's really amazing. You know, I wanted to talk with you about, about the future, the future of technology. Raise your hand if you believe me that I have been in the future. I'm the only one. You don't believe me? I will prove it to you. Uh, I need... Uh, you, you with the, the nice uh, peach... Uh, yeah, what is your name? Claudia? Same thing. Can you come over here for a second? <laughs> Nadia, before you come, do you need glasses to read or you don't need? You have glasses on you? Bring them, bring them. It's, 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 you have to do it. It's very important. And everybody, please, I know, I know you. Give everybody applause. Come over here, Nadia. Come, come, come. Lottery numbers. How are you? Are you, are you enjoying the show so far? Good. Yes. Listen, I've been in the future, and I'm gonna prove it to you. Yes. But are you sure? When you saw the video at the beginning, you didn't feel any like uh, psychological influence. Nothing. No, you didn't feel it. Okay. First, we need to connect. Who are you here with? Who did you come here with? Yeah. With Lisa? Okay. Na hey, Nadia, close your eyes for me for a second quickly. Clo don't cheat. Eyes closed. I will ask you a question. No, not with the hand. <laughs> eyes closed. I will ask, let, first of all, we need to connect. Give me your hand. <sighs> no. <laughs> you seen the show? <laughs> no. No, keep your eyes closed. Please see everyone I'm doing. Very important, keep your eyes closed. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut eyes closed. I'm going to touch your face very gently. Don't open your eyes. You felt a little touch, yes? Can you show me where? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Keep keep your eyes closed. Don't 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 open your eyes. Don't open your eyes. Eyes 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 closed. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. Eyes closed. Like this. Did you feel something strange on your back? Maybe. Did I touch Did I touch your back? You don't remember. Oh. <laughs> keep your. Keep your eyes closed. Keep your eyes closed. Sh concentrate. Concentrate. Maybe you will feel a little bit of tickling. Tickling. You felt it? Tickling. You felt on your cheek. Yeah. yeah you felt on your cheek. <laughs> Open your eyes. Open your eyes. First of all, I want to ask you. Remember that I touched you here and here. Yes. Nadia. Did I, everybody. Did I touch her? No. I never touched you. I was touching me. Yeah. Which means we are connected. <laughs> By the way, if you feel something strange around midnight, it's not me. Is it? But I want to write something for you. This is about the future because I've been in the future and I will prove to you. Today, I will prove to you that I was in the future. Nadia, like this, right? Nadia, you are going to do something. Something in the future. I brought you something. This is something from here. First of all, I want to check your imagination. 
give me a name of a big celebrity that you would like to sit for coffee. Dead or alive, I don't care. Tell me now, go. Who have you won? Yeah, I'm a famous actor, musician, dancer, politician. Tell me. Tell me. Trifonov? Who is Trifonov? Ah, the pianist! Because I have a picture inside here. Yeah, of Trifonov. Yeah, when he was two years old. This is <laughs> <laughs> now, I know what you're thinking. What would happen if she would say Barack Obama? <laughs> someone once told me, someone once told me Michael Jackson, and I wasn't uh, sure. Never mind. So, <laughs> so listen, no, I visited the future. I saw his soon technology. It's unbelievable. You'll see it in a second. These are newspapers. Take a few of them. Take this one, and this one, and this one. These are regular newspapers. Just take them and, and, and mix them. Mix them, and while you're mixing them, I'm going to write a message for you here. This is a message from the future. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, take all the newspapers like this. No, no. Put, put the glasses on. You have to put the glasses. Yes, yeah, it's very important. Okay. And throw them in all. all the, the, yeah. Just throw on the count of three. Are you ready? It's okay. Uh, to, to show you that I was in the future, to show you I was in the future, we're going to create a random choice, a random choice of randomness. Choose one newspaper, whatever you want, don't let me influence you. <laughs> was that fair? Fair? You want to change your mind? You, you want to change your mind? Are you sure? Okay, come over here. Nadia. Oh, the New York Times. Okay. Uh, you have, you see, all the different sections. I want you to hold some in your right hand, some in your left hand. So like a pom-pom. Yeah, perfect. Just like, yeah, just like this. And very spontaneous. Uh, Mr. President, which one do you want to eliminate? Left or right? You choose. No, whatever you want to throw. So my, this one? You want to throw this? Can you do it? That's it? Do you have more? Oh, that's it. Okay. Now, this article here, articles here, here, and here. Which one do you want? You see, it's randomness. Randomness, it's chaos. But I, I see. No, 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 choose. It's uh, nobody. Yeah, which one? Here, here, or here? Here? Front. Okay, take this. So, nobody knew it's chaos. Einstein would say, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, then it's a, you want the top or the bottom? Then it's completely random. Yeah, which one? Top or bottom? Bottom is this. Okay, now we're going to do it together. Hold it like this. Now, you see, this is the time for the glasses, by the way. <laughs> you see the word here, entrance? Yes. Oh, you can see. I knew that. I was in the future. Uh, you see the word uh, oh, Scotland? Nice word. There's some, there's some words that are not very good, like uh, with. Hmm. With. Or, or a, a the. It's not a good word. But put, put your finger here in the middle. Yeah. And just go with left, right, top, bottom. When you want to stop, you just stop. Go. Mm -hmm. You go, not me. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Right here. Now, this is your last choice of these scales. Do you want to change your mind, or this is what you choose? Because you can change your mind. I give you 10 seconds to change your mind. 10. Nine, eight. You see how you count from ten to zero, by the way? Okay. <laughs> this is the one. You sure? Remember, I gave her a chance to change your mind. She did. You want to change your mind? Please change your mind. You don't. You see? Nobody can predict it. Oh, it's good. Uh, don't tell. Uh, don't say it out. Did, did you? Oh, it's two words. You got it? If you. What? Say it out loud. If you. If you. Why? Just because. Can you say to everyone, in, because they didn't hear you maybe, the words is if, just confirm. If you. If you, with the accent. <laughs> what if is the, you. I mean, you selected the newspapers, you mixed them up, you hold this, then you did the elimination, then you chose this side, bottom side. What is the chance that someone will know which word you will choose? Unless he was in the future, and he's already seen it. 
What? No, really. What is the chance anybody could know? I mean, was, was that random or not random? Not random. If you, it's not very good word here. Connects if I. Ah, it's like uh, if you. Uh, if you can dream it, you can do it. Uh, all this. If you. Nobody would know that. You wanna see? But to prove to you that I was in the future, I saw this show. And in the future, I saw that I got a standing ovation in the show. When I finished, when I finished, only when I finished. And I knew that they would bring you here in the future. And I knew that you will choose this. So I ran away in the future, not now, before I came back. I ran and I did this. I uh, went to a shop and I printed a t-shirt just to prove to you that I was in the future. This, it says she will choose something. She will choose a word. But then I told him to print on the back, it will be if you. Thank you for your help. Give Nadia a big round of applause. You can go back to your seat. Thank you so much. So, the show is not over, but I've seen the standing ovation. I've seen it, I've seen it. Talking about the future, let's see what the future holds. Look at the screen. The year 2024. Somewhere on Earth. What an interview. I'm not taking it, Simon. I mean, it's a good career opportunity, but it's not really me. Not the new me. Simon, I'm talking to you. Simon, you're supposed to be helping me here. Simon, I said I just... You can't decide. So what else is new? Oh, God. Yes, but you can call me Simon. Hey, I deleted that joke. Oops. To the bin now. Look, Zoe, why don't you check out one of your Zoom startups? I bet you'll find your new dream job with them. I've got a great idea. I could try with your Zoom. Brilliant idea. Brilliant. Look directly at the screen and state your name clearly. Uh, you do know my name by now, Simon. Well, we did consider a name change, Mrs. Zoe X. Vassestrum Zimmerman. Well, let's begin by changing your name to Simon Expired. <coughs> Uploading potential career options, showing top five options based on your personal profile, Mrs. Zoe Zimmerman. Looking good. More flora. Increasing global yield, quality and availability of healthier food resources. Together with Professor Ilan Sela, we were able to develop 10 years ago a novel technology that facilitates the introduction of foreign genes into plants by a simple treatment of seeds. This is now being implemented by geneticists, plant breeders, functional genomics and other industries in a modern genetic environment. More flora! Hmm. That's just what my garden needs. So you're taking it? Yeah. Oh, uh, well, uh, could you just... Implant you with a decision-making trait? Just show me the next one, please, Simon. Here we go. Melodia. Combining creative science and the power of nature's building blocks to revolutionise products. We have now four factories worldwide producing 10 tonnes a day of nanocrystalline cellulose all over the world. We also have our products installed in nearly every application of day-to-day -day life. Uh, you can see our panels inside houses where people are living. You can see them in trains and even in airplanes. You can see our NCC added to different glues and different construction material packaging. And even in a pulp and paper, everything that you use contains Melodea's NCC. Our products are everywhere, bringing a better future and a better and safe environment to the people who use them. Creative science and nature. Mm. Sounds much more like the new me. Don't! Another coffee stain on the table. Speaking of which, I feel it's time to talk about Clearjet. Mm. 
Since when do you have feelings, Simon? Clear jet. Bringing the revolution of conductive inkjet technology to touch screens. We uh, focus on uh, functional printing and functional coatings. For example, if we utilize the uh, known phenomenon of the uh, coffee ring effect, in which while a coffee drop is falling on your shirt, it forms a kind of a ring. So if we take uh, such ring and make it of uh, metallic nanoparticles, we can make a transparent and conductive structure that can be used for making touch screens, uh, for, for example, in smartphones. This is how great ideas begin, Simon. You're never wrong, are you? Never. Next. Regenerative medicine. Differentiation and genetic manipulation of embryonic stem cells. The 20th century was actually the century of the DNA. And we are now realize that the 21st century is the century of the cell. And this most amazing cell is the cell that can make all the cells in our body. In the past 15 years, my lab and my stem cell unit at the Hebrew University is working on such human pluripotent cells. Since they can make all the cells in our body, we can use them for transplantation. But at the same time, we can use them in order to model genetic disorders and finding new therapies. Wow, maybe I could regenerate myself. Why, Zoe? You always look regenerated to me. Shame I can't say the same for you. You've been looking rather pale lately. Well, that's because you haven't heard of q -Lite. Enlighten me. q -Lite. Q-Lite Nanotech was founded in 2009 based on technologies and inventions from my lab at the university. And q -Lite Nanotech develops the next generation of materials and technologies based on nanotechnology for flat panel displays. What q -Lite makes are small semiconductor nanocrystals, which can provide exceptional colors tuned by size, composition, and shape of these particles. These kind of particles, when placed inside your screen, will give you exceptional color quality which is unprecedented in the field of flat panel displays, along with energy saving, which means that the battery run between charges of your mobile phone or tablet will actually be doubled. Finally, you see your future nano-crystal clear. Uh, well, they are all such challenging opportunities. And your greatest challenge is taking one of them. Just one, one, one. Stop it, Simon. It's hard enough to decide as it is. You know what? Yasum has a technology that can help you decide. What now? Professor Itamar Gatti of the Faculty of Social Sciences has developed the Employment Optimization Algorithm. And now in plain English? To find the exact career match for your skill set. Hey, that's exactly what we need. We could turn that into a startup. You and me, together? Yeah, but I'd be the CEO. So I'm the CTO. I'm VP Marketing. R&D is me. Yeah. CFO, yeah. XML, ATP, okay. ISP, API, TNT, ISDA. ADHD. You win. <laughs> Yisum, where science means business. To, to show what I really mean about, uh, no, I did hypnotize all of you in the first uh, video, and I'm proof to you. I'm proof to you. Are you still in shock from the steam? <laughs> I'm just looking at you. Uh, man, you know, don't be scared. You know me by now. Now comes the worst part of the show. Let's see. I need someone to help me. Uh, what is your name? No? Do you want to know what Can you guess it? Okay. Uh, I need someone. I need someone. Raise your hand if you want to help me. I want a lady to help me. Would you like to help? What is your name? Ruth! Come over here, Ruth. Come here. Uh, do you have a phone? iPhone? Oh, you have a Oh, you have a password. Not anymore. Okay. See? <laughs> Where is it? Please come. Ruth, are you coming? Oh, you should have come from that one. Whatever, okay. Where is it? Are you coming? Where is your, where is your calculator? Oh, found it. Okay. Have you ever used your calculator? Where are you? Have you ever used the calculator? Yes. Good. How are you? You have a phone? Good. It's good. Come over here. Have you ever used a calculator on the phone? Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. 
no, you are right for this, because I'm going, listen, I, I try to hypnotize everyone, and I will see if I succeeded, okay? Uh, good, you're gonna help me here. Tell me out loud a three-digit number quickly, go. Perfect, you see what I did? Am I right? Yes. Now I press plus. Yes. Now I want you to tell me three digit number. Just what about the outcome, shut it out. So I go three, two, one, and I plus again. So you see, I, just, I don't press the equal. I just go plus and plus and plus and plus, okay? So we are in 1064. But I'm gonna go higher than the lady in red, you shout a, a four digit number. Out loud, number eight. Eight, four, two, six, please. Eight, four, two, six, and plus again. Boom, you see when you go, now we're getting to higher numbers. And the gentleman with the blue shirt over there, right in front of me, shout a four digit number now. Yes, you who's turning around, yeah, it's you. Out loud, go. Seven, six, four, five. Seven, six, four, five. Seven, six, four, five, plus. Perfect. Just do it very, very gently so you can track the numbers because you have to remember all of them, okay? <laughs> so joking, that's so joking. Um, lady in yellow in front of me, four digit quickly now. 3797, please. 3797. 3797. Two more. Plus, yes? Plus. I need the big number. I need. Who wants to tell me a number? 9999, nine, 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 nine. please. 9999. Nine, nine, nine. And I wanted to, well, yeah, and multiply that. No, no, change, multiply. Yes. Multiply that, listen carefully. Now I'm, I'm going to get astronomical number. So I need four digits from. I got the phone from you. Give me four digits. Four, 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 four. Very original. Four, 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 four. And then press equal. And tell me what is the score, if you can. Do you have a score? Oh my, oh you have to turn it because you see it's a, it's a big number. Okay, tell, tell, me, tell me the digits. Quickly, go. Hey, wait, wait, take this. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, please. One zero. Six five zero. Two four zero. Three nine zero. That's ten billion. 615 million, 340,390. It's a completely random number because it's not my phone, it's your phone, it's your calculator. You did all the calculation. I tried to hypnotize all of you. Are you sure that's the number? Check again. 10650240390. That's the number. That's a random number. You did the calculation yourself. When the show starts, I threw a secret scroll to you, Shlomo. Can you throw it back to me? <laughs> Let me just do it quickly. And you were holding it from the beginning of the show. Sorry? Yes. So here's something very interesting. Can you come over here, Ruth? Can you hold this? Okay. Let me just put his phone over here. <laughs> we already know the number. Come over here, come over here. Hold this. Let's see. One, zero. Six five zero two four zero three nine zero. From the beginning of the show. Wait, wait. Can you hold it with two hands like this? No, no, no. Just hold it. Yeah, just like this. Perfect. Now, what's interesting about this number? You know what's interesting about the number? That it's kind of coincidence because I try to influence you. Today is uh, the tenth of June. It is tenth of June. And we are celebrating 50 years for a Zoom. That in the last 50 years, 2,403 inventions. Yes. And total of 90 startup companies. That's amazing. And if you don't believe me, this is for you, Ruth. You can hear it. You go back to your seat. Thank you very much. Can you catch, catch, catch? Yes. Catch. I think it's okay. I did it before. So that's amazing how I do that. But how did I do it? Raise your hand if you want to know how. I swear that I'll teach you. I told you I hypnotized all of you. Remember the video at the beginning? It was a long video, seven minutes. I cut the video into segments and I tried to implant thoughts into your mind. Let's see the video, 30 seconds version. Check it out. 
That's the 30 second version of the video. Here's the 106. It was there at the beginning. Then I put on the this, you can see it closely, you can see the 50 now. It was there, you saw it, you just didn't see it. You were in for 2,403 inventions in 50 years. And of course, we're talking about 90 startups with this room for the last startup companies in the last 50 years, which is incredible, I think. So, give yourselves a big round of applause, and with that, I will tell everyone, thank you for coming. We look forward to having you with us at your soon dining, dining anniversary, before you get up. In the meantime, you're welcome to continue this wonderful evening with coffee and desserts outside the wall. And remember one thing important. <coughs> always think happy thoughts and always think positive thoughts. Do you know why? Because you can never know who's reading them. <laughs> My name is Leo Susha. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much. Thank you I, got, I saw it in the future. I saw that in the future. I saw <laughs> thank you. I will see you later outside. See you later. No, you didn't tell them that you are joining us in the soup, so welcome. Thank you and enjoy the rest of the desserts outside.